In this video I'll be showing how we can use OneNote class notebooks to create feedback and feed forward comments for students. What I've done here is I've gone into the teacher only space and this is a space as we know where only teachers can access the pages and the sections. Students don't see this section. So I usually like to create a drafts section in here and this is where I create pages that I eventually distribute to students. Now very quickly the feedback and feed forward uh, concept comes from reviewing what has been completed, that's feedback, and making suggestions as to uh, what students can do going forward, feed forward. And to add to that what I've gone ahead and done is highlighted um, the terms that indicate that it's past feedback or future directions, feed forward. Uh, so for instance you can see use of um, past tense in the feedback column, there was clear improvement, you presented, there was effective eye contact, you selected and, and so forth. In the feed forward we've got a different set of words, we've got remember to maintain eye contact, using this approach would strengthen your discussion, remember to project your voice and I've also got a global one where I could probably type something in this space in future focus on. So. These here are to-do lists and they are empty checkboxes and how we create them is we go into the home tab and you'll see that the to-do tag is the top one and when you insert that, if I just go down below here and hit this button, we've got an empty checkbox and you can see that I've added that into uh, a table here with a little bit of color to differentiate feedback from feed forward. There is also space for general feedback and feed forward comments, but remember being one note if you didn't want to do that, you could always drop in with our insert tab um, some audio feedback or anything else that you think might work in that space. So how do we distribute this to students and how do we make sure they don't change it? So we go into the class notebook tab and we use the distribute page option. This is the Windows 10 app version of OneNote, so you might notice some slight differences in this process, but the, the buttons that we click are largely the same. So I'm going to click distribute page, and it's going to bring up a list of common sections in the student sections, and you can see that there's a project one section for all students. I'll click on that, and then I'll go distribute. You'll see now that the pages will be distributed and then they're going to pop up in the student's project one sections. So those pages have now distributed to the student sections and if I go through you'll see this project one feedback and feed forward page has been added into every project one folder. If we wanted to we could go in and manually choose this page in each student section and make our comments. There is a faster way however and this is the way that I'm going to recommend to you. In the class notebook tab go into review student work. The interface is slightly different for the Windows 10 app but you will see the same kinds of options in the 2016 app if you're using it. Now I put this in the project one folder so I'll click on that and go next. It's going to search for common pages that have been distributed and here it is, project one feedback feed forward. I've selected that and I go next. This now gives me the option to go through each student's feedback and feed forward page and simply go yes, this student did all these things and this is my advice for the next task. And as I click and go through, you can see how quickly we can generate customized and individualized responses for these students. I'll jump down here and make a few more changes. If we go back, of course the changes have been retained and assuming I'm going all the way through to the end here, you are asking what's the next step? How do we make sure that students don't delete this page or edit this page? And you should see in the review student work panel the option to lock pages. What this means is that the students now can't go in and edit the feedback that you've put on there. So I, I think we can all appreciate the benefits of a feedback and feed forward approach, but I'm hoping that in this video I've demonstrated a way that you can use these principles of feedback in a timely manner so that it doesn't take too long for you to generate custom comments, distribute them to your students, and to lock the comments so that they can't be edited. As a final point, if you can't see the lock pages option, you might be on an older version of OneNote. 
So there is a support page. And as you can see here, if you Google use page locking in class notebook, you should arrive at this page. And as you go down, it will tell you which version of OneNote you need to be running to be able to lock pages in the student sections. And importantly, at the bottom, whether you're on 2016 or newer versions of OneNote, are some very helpful and clear screenshots to help you do that part of the process.